Hi friends, back on again here. Um, so this one I want to share um, a word I got on the um, 11th of April. As I was taking a walk down by the river, I got this word, so I just thought I'd um, share it with you as well. Um, actually, just before I share that, I have I have something else here that I got on the 8th of April, um, but I shared half of it, so I ju I'll just share this little bit. It's only a small little bit. <clears throat> That I, that I felt that I got from the Holy Spirit it says here, my house shall be a house of prayer for all nations. This is the church. God is going to establish intimacy back into his church. The current church structure is finished. People may, may not believe that it is so, but it is finished. He will have a love relationship with his church. That is why he died to have a love relationship. So I felt that very strongly that God is bringing intimacy back into his church, that he will not accept anything less than having that close, intimate relationship with him, that you won't be able to be middle ground anymore. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be all in or all out kind of thing, you know. And I, and I felt that for some time, but that was just um, the conf confirmation from the Holy Spirit there. <clears throat> so this, anyway, I received on the 11th of April, as I say. So the Lord was speaking to me about the garden of eden and all also about the earth um he was saying look how i gave everything to mankind so basically I, i've been praying in tongues and then the lord was giving me interpretation and this was the interpretation that was being given so i'm writing giving you the essence of what the message was that he was giving to me right so the lord was speaking to me about the garden of eden and the earth he was saying look how i gave everything to mankind all of his creation, all of this creation was generously given freely for mankind to enjoy. So basically God created everything for us to enjoy. But they abused their power and became covetous and greedy. They destroyed animals and overfished the seas. They polluted the atmosphere and became increasingly covetous for more and more. They ignored the one who gave them everything. Then he spoke about the Garden of Eden and how God had to remove mankind from the garden and from his presence because they corrupted themselves. Um, and God was really emphasizing that he, was, he, is re, he is incorruptible and that we are corrupted. Um, so with, so with, and he said, I stated that with one hand we desire to do what's right, but the other hand we do evil. That's the way he showed it to me. So he knew that mankind would corrupt the garden, that they would even destroy each other intentionally. He showed me that if he did not intervene, that man would destroy themselves. God knew that he he that men would destroy them himself because he would unite himself with satan hence he had to remove us from the garden because god himself is incorruptible so no corruption will stand in his presence this was the emphasis when he shall come now he was kind of giving me this essence right that he was coming and that that when he shall come his fury shall blaze as a fire before him his presence shall come as a storm before him and devour before him. Then I felt him say with anger. So when he was saying that to me, I could sense that him moving and coming and I could sense like a storm coming before him and I could sense just um, just destruction coming before him. That's what, what my sense was as he was visiting, you know, coming. So then it shifts again. Then I felt him saying with anger, Church, why are you not awake? Why are you not prepared for my son's return? For, for my, my soon return, sorry. Why, church, have you not discerned the time that you are in? And I felt him being angry about this. You know, he was angry and giving out about this, you know. Why have you not discerned the season you now dwell in? Have you not looked around you? Have you not looked at the signs in the heavens? Have you not looked at the signs on the earth? Why are you not ready? Why are you not prepared? Why are you asleep? At such a critical time as this, 
when the sands of time are running out and near their end, they are nearly depleted. God was angry, really angry that his church was not ready. And I really sense that he was so angry that um, that the church was asleep and, and not ready and prepared and not discerned and not, you know, armed in these times. He said, and then it kind of, then I was getting another kind of message from the Lord. Um, he said, this is the time I separate the wheat, wheat from the chaff. I will separate those who have trusted in me from the chaff. The chaff are those who have united themselves with Satan. And because they have united themselves with Satan, they will go, go to the same destiny as Satan himself. And he said this to me very strong. Anyone who lives a lie and lives in falsehood shall be the chaff and God will not accept anybody who lives or follows after a lie. You will not be accepted by the Lord. You will have the same destiny as Satan himself. So that was very strong and the Lord really emphasized that anyone who's living a lie will not share in the destiny of Christ. Um, the Lord showed me this world will be judged by him and it will be burned by fire. The earth will be burned up by his fire. Mankind will destroy himself. He will bring, bring destruction on the earth, but God will judge the earth by fire. The message on living a lie was very strong from the Lord. That's what I received. Um, yeah, so the, the whole thing, the emphasis was like the, that the Lord had to remove mankind from the garden because he knew what was in man. He knew potentially where man was going to go, that he was going to be destructive and destroy himself, that he was had, had aligned himself to Satan. And God, knowing the greater plans of Satan, he knew that man would destroy himself. And it is man uniting with the plans of Satan and plan, Satan's plans are superior plans, you know, that um, with those, with the, that unification between mankind and Satan, that mankind will destroy himself. And that's really what is happening. And we're going to see that, work, that, that being played out stronger and stronger, I think, in these, in these new ages that we're in at the moment, you know. Um, so I have some reference scriptures for what I was talking about in this message, because the Lord just gave them to me straight after this. So Matthew 13, um, 36 to 42 talks about the wheat and the chaff and the Lord separating the wheat from the chaff. Revelation 3 talks about the lukewarm church and how God will spew her out of his mouth. So we can't, he's not going to accept lukewarm people. Luke 12, um, 54 to 56 talks about discerning the skies, discerning the, discerning the seasons, you know, the seasons that we're in. Um, 1 Peter 2, 2 to 4 talks about covetous men and, and what their, that their, you know, what their plans are like and their schemes are like. Um, on 1 Peter 2 and 9 to 10, it talks about how evil, wicked men will make merchandise of you. And that's what's happening now. Even Facebook and Google and all these giants, they, they're, they're selling you out, you're selling your data and your privacy out, you know, for money, you know. Um, 2 Peter 3, 5 to 7, um, creation for man, it's talking about the creation for man, uh, uh, all about that. And 2 Peter 3, 10 is talking about being the, the earth being burned by fire under the judgments of God. Um, so that's what I wanted to share with you. Just thought I'd share that with you. Any comments or anything that you want to even chat about or talk about um just send them through to me um it's always lovely to hear your comments and thank you for those of you who have been emailing me and everything like that so and keeping me you know abreast of any new videos that come out or any new information you know it's, it's good to know so god bless you all have a great day okay bye